was seen on surveillance video making two ATM withdrawals at a business in the 8600 block of South Cottage Grove. Kiera, a postal worker who was three months pregnant, exited the business three minutes later. These are the last recorded images of Kiera. The last time I talked to Kiara, she was at the wig store. She was asking me what should she get, what type of milk, what type of fruits and vet. I mean, she was just so excited to be pregnant. I can't never forget that day because that was the last day I talked to her and heard her voice and heard how happy she was to be pregnant. Two days later, on October 4th, the Coles family filed a missing persons report for Kiara. While attempting to locate her, officers forced entry into Kiara's apartment, which she was nowhere to be found. Even when I had the police come and do a well-being check to see if my daughter was in her apartment okay, it was a wreck for me then. I couldn't even stand up there. As they was taking the screws out the door, I couldn't even stand up there. My heart was beating so fast, my hands were sweating. I thought I was going to walk into it something that I didn't want to see to the point I had to go outside and catch my breath. And the boyfriend and her stepfather, they stayed up there with the police. Then when they came downstairs and told me she wasn't in there, it was like a big relief, like, okay, thank you, God. Then that's when I thought maybe she just went outside. She didn't want to be bothered. She, you know, she would just be home in the morning. Chicago Police Detectives and the United States Postal Inspection Service began a joint investigation. So after we made the police report, we it just was days of searching and passing out flyers and praying. Sometimes when people get pregnant, they have mood swings, which I was praying that that's all it may have been was a mood swing. She just didn't want to be bothered with nobody for a, little, for a couple of days, but... Here I am, almost three years later, and I still don't have my baby. After canvassing for video and analyzing the hours of footage obtained, detectives were able to piece together a timeline of the last few hours before Kiera disappeared on October 2nd. During the course of that night, Kiera entered her residence in the 8100 block of South Vernon. A man who detectives identified as a person of interest also arrived and entered the residence. Kiara and the man later got into her car and drove off with Kiara in the driver's seat. Kiara was seen making the ATM withdrawal on surveillance video just minutes later. Less than an hour later, the vehicle is seen arriving and parking in another area of the city. The person of interest exits the passenger side of the vehicle but nobody exits the driver's side. The next day, the person of interest is seen parking Kiara's vehicle near her residence before entering the building and exiting with unknown items. He then drives away in his personal vehicle that was parked on the block overnight. When officers questioned the person of interest after Kiara was reported missing, he gave varying accounts of the last time he saw her. Detectives cast a wide net for evidence that would lead to Kiara's whereabouts. Many of Kiara's family and friends were interviewed. Social media accounts were reviewed. A forensics test for blood evidence was conducted. Her personal computer, phone records, and financial records were all analyzed. The worst thing a parent can go through is not knowing whether their child is safe, warm, fed, being treated right, it, it's, it's just heartbreaking. It's just an emotional wreck to wake up every day. Sometimes a song could remind me of her when her friends post them in her videos. You know, I'm just looking at her wishing it just was the day and I'll see her later. It just took a big mental toll on. For more than three years, Kiara's loved ones have had to live with many unanswered questions. We need your help to shed light on her disappearance. The Chicago Police Department is committed to finding out what happened to Kiara. We will not stop 
until we can bring her family answers. Kiera deserves this. Her family deserves this. Please call. I need help from anybody out there that may be watching this to help bring Kiara home. You know, her family and friends miss her. We all want her home safe. Anything you may know, whether you think it's nothing, it, it could be something. If you know something, 